Howdy, and welcome to No Excuses, Just Reasons. I'm Reed Meal, and we're back to dissect this Casey White, Vicky White, prison break a little bit more. There's a lot going on with this story, so it's kind of just like a cold body of water. We just got to jump in somewhere and get on with it. We covered in the first part of this, uh, just Vicky White's pre-prison break situation. She sold her house for $95,000. It was, uh... Listed at $235,000. Talk about the kind of deal that warrants sending a social worker to make sure everything's okay. But regardless, Vicki White was able to leave Lauderdale County with her boy toy, Casey White, and about $90,000 in cash. These two crazy lovebirds were able to avoid the man for 11 days before getting captured. Does anyone want to guess where Confederate flag Casey White and Vicky White ran off to? Oh yeah, you guessed it. KKK, capital of the United States, Indiana. Casey just going on a monologue in the car as they're driving off. This is what Bobby Knight would have wanted. We need to hashtag save the children, Vicky. For what was the chair toss for? Can you tell me that, Vicky? Okay, now. So Vicky and Casey ditched the truck they were using at an Evansville, Indiana local car wash. They just left it literally inside the car wash where there's plenty of cameras. They aren't the smartest criminals, these two. But this is a love story, not the pre-draft workout for the NFL. Pretty sure these two would be in Jamarcus Russell territory if they took the wonder lick. So as the couple's being chased by the local police, Vicky White pulls out her phone and dials 911. I can't really figure out why she called 911. All the recordings seem to just indicate her talking to Casey the whole time she was on the line with him. Just Facebook Live that shit, Vicky. Let's keep the phone lines open. So Vicky basically has the 911 operator on hold as she yells at Casey, Get us back to the fucking hotel! Right after the cop flipped the two into the ditch, she yelled at him, Airbags are gonna go off and kill us! Get us back to the fucking hotel! I would like to take a moment to point out that this hotel was across the street of the Evansville Police Department. So they did in fact kind of get back to the hotel by the time this story was all said and done. The hotel was booked for 14 days. They paid a homeless dude to make the reservation. You still need a credit card as far as my dumbass 27 year old brain thinks anyway, right? Still need a credit card to order that room. When they left uh, Lauderdale County in Alabama, she had $90,000 in cash. When they caught her in this situation, she was down to 29000 So I think it's pretty possible they just overpaid for the room and the owner allowed it being in KKK world. Oh, the old no credit card discount for anyone with a Confederate flag on their body. You can always find some Northern idiots spouting off Southern pride. God damn it, we're in Wisconsin, but Southern pride, it's not about race, it's about the Southern pride of my heritage. Wisconsin and Indiana are south of somewhere, baby. Believe it or not, I just learned that his Confederate flag literally says Southern pride around it. Apparently his tattoo is uh, affiliated with the Alabama-based white supremacist prison gang, Southern Brotherhood. And I leave the possibility open that Vicki White was stupid enough that she was behind her desk at work going, which prison gang should I join? Sheriff Rick Singleton keeps pushing me towards the Southern Brotherhood. Based on everything I've heard Rick Singleton say so far, I'm not sure he'd be able to order two over-easy eggs at a diner. The the runny ones that you flip? So it's pretty clear that a lot of the $70,000 that they spent went to the weaponry in the car. They had a semi-automatic weapon, three other guns, a lot of ammo, that kind of fucking... 2020 nonsense. But anyway, somehow Vicky went from we need to get back to the fucking hotel, the airbags are gonna kill us, to it's time to shoot myself in the head and end this. That seems weird to me, but there are moments in life where the truth just becomes undeniable and you make decisions from there. So they're pulling Casey White out of the vehicle to be arrested. He looks over his shoulder at the vehicle and tells the police officer, please help my wife. She shot herself. I didn't shoot her. Let's start by breaking down the wife part. What kind of ceremony did we have in this 11 days? Did the homeless guy they paid off to book their hotel room go on and perform the ceremony for him? 
Or was he just the witness to the marriage? Did they run into Cricket from Always Sunny? Some of these homeless people are renaissance men in 2022. And if this case was looking for a sweet moment, boy did Casey White give it to us. He cared for the woman that broke the Nazi murderer out of prison, as he should. Now sure, the police officers are saying that he's shown absolutely zero remorse for her death, but are they marriage counselors? I think not. And then the other obvious thing that we need to consider during that little arrest fest, Casey told the officer that was arresting him that he wasn't the one that shot Vicky. Sounds very much like your parents coming home after they left you alone with your siblings. Your little sister has a black eye. I sure as hell didn't give her that. We were just throwing rocks at each other, and she threw one off the side of the house, and it, you know, hit her in the face. Alrighty, we got some good timing on a new report on this. Apparently, the police officers have confirmed that they saw Casey White's two hands outside of the window as Vicky White shot herself. So, it really was Vicky White this time. Our dumbass sister did hit herself in the eye with a rock. So that's nice, right? These Alabama people ain't too smart, let me tell ya. Uh, Vicky White's mother, who, as far as we can tell, is just a nice woman. Probably hates the blacks. Um, posted an obituary for her daughter in the local area. Vicky Sue White of Lexington, Alabama, passed away May 9th, 2022. Vicky was the assistant director for the Lauderdale County Detention Center. Vicky is survived by... A bunch of people with the last name Davis. So she, her maiden name must have been Davis. Which would indicate that she probably had a first husband named White. Who the fuck doubles down on a last name like that? No excuses, just reason idle. Colin Cowherd does have a nice little theory on that. You'd be a fool to eliminate someone based on their name just because you had a bad time with a... Uh, with a... What name do we want to use? A Susan couple years ago. Why miss out on your soulmate over a stupid name? Colin Cowherd knows that truth, and so did Vicky White. This is a very bland obituary, but it ends with, there will be a graveside service for Vicky on Saturday, May 14th at 1 p.m. at Center Hill Cemetery. Paul Bears will be Hunter Ray, Shannon Davis, a bunch of people that didn't break out. Casey White from prison, so I won't name him. I fucking love how this ends. To send flowers to the family or plant a tree in memory of Vicky White, please visit the Tribute Store. How much money would it cost? No excuses, just reasons. To plant a tree in honor of Vicky White. Let's find out. Okay, so the memorial tree costs $39.95. Your name will be listed on Vicky's tribute wall. Each memorial tree includes a certificate that demonstrates your purchase. And of course we have some information on what we'll receive by purchasing this tree in Vicky's honor. When you choose to have a memorial tree planted for Vicky, you are doing more than simply putting a plant in the ground. You're making a long-term commitment to the environment and rooting the memories of Vicky and our planet for countless years to come. A memorial tree is a unique tribute which provides global benefits like no other memorial gift could. And I shit you not, these trees will be planted in one of four states, California, Idaho, Michigan, or my home state, Wisconsin. I was really hoping they would plant the trees locally in Lauderdale County. And then, like, ten years from now, a bunch of kids will go up to the Vicky White tree, read No Excuses, Just Reasons, Google that shit and give me money. They also have options where you can buy multiple trees as a package, so the cheapest grove of three is $115. The grove benefits. To make your gift extra special, we recommend one of our premium grove collections. What you receive. Premium recognition on Vicky White's tribute wall. Attach a meaningful symbol to your message to the family. Enhanced certificate that could be printed or emailed to the family to demonstrate your generous gift, a one-year anniversary follow-up. It's pretty rare that I get an opportunity to make fun of a family and help the environment at the same time. I just read last night that 10 homes in North Carolina have just been swept into the ocean in the last two years, so like, 
What are you doing to help? Less than Vicky White, that's how much. The internet has ruined our world and society, but there's fun moments with it. I have found the tribute wall for Vicky White. I'm not gonna name names, but... A Sylvester purchased flowers for the family of Vicky White. Guaranteed hand delivery by a local florist. Some boomer named Nanette went on to say, My grandparents were Almond and Carlene. I remember how wonderful JC and Pat were to my grandparents, especially after my grandfather died. I don't remember meeting Vicky, but I'm sure as children, our paths crossed at some point. My father, Edwin, and my uncle, Jimmy, do remember her. My dad told me how sweet and kind Vicky was to my grandmother, and how often she would stop and visit. My grandmother thought the world to Vicky and the rest of the Davis family. This is how we will all remember your daughter. I would like to think she and my grandparents are re reunited again, and are catching up on old times. Please know you are all in our prayers and will continue to be for days to come. Roll time! Kelly posted a condolence. I'm so very sorry about Vicky. I didn't know her, but I feel empathy for her. May she rest in peace. My deepest condolences. Miss Walker posted on the wall. How heartbroken she must have been. I pray that the mercy of God has brought her into her internal peace. My condolences to those who knew and loved her. Ashley lit a candle and said, sending many prayers to her family and friends during this difficult time. Hey, can everyone believe the state of Alabama had this bitch's back? You're always south of somewhere. <laughs> Southern pride. All right, everybody, I'm going to be at the Dubuque Comedy Club tonight to do their stupid open mic, and I'm going to try to... Uh... Start that shit up again and be able to make some money and buy a couple acres of land and have some cows that like me, some pigs that are just pets, and live a life. Hope you have a good one.